All right, so today's adventure starts in Santa Cruz. It's kind of overcast everywhere, so I figure I'll get in the water. Uh, my leg's feeling much better, so, and it's nice and gentle, so I'll go for a quick surf, and then hopefully the sun will come out. All right, so I'm at Lighthouse Field Park, which is across the street from the ocean. A lot of cypress trees here, and I've tried to paint this particular scene before, and it has not worked out. What I did in the past was I, I did like a tight crop onto the tree, and today what I'm thinking of doing is including more of the path and having the tree maybe, I don't know, the base of the tree on the third and do a vertical format. <laughs> I'm gonna do a 12 by 16 in a vertical position. I'm gonna work quickly and I'm gonna play around and experiment. So a lot of times I don't include sort of experimental spots in my videos. I mean, I guess I do, but uh, this one I've never succeeded at this particular view and I've tried it two times or three times. So <laughs> we'll see, maybe this will work out, maybe not. Okay, so I've got the Anderson easel set up in the shade here. Uh, my usual palette of colors, liquid, odorless mineral spirits in a brush washer, uh, assortment of brushes. Probably going to be using this one the most, Natural Bristle Flat number 10 and Natural Bristle uh, Flat number 2 to sketch. And I made a special jig for this easel because when I'm painting smaller panels, as you can see, uh, the pegs are right here. And they're too far apart to support a smaller panel. So, you know, this is just a piece of wood with some pan head screws. And so that's what I use for smaller panels. So I wanna keep the bottom of the tree at about the third using rule of thirds. And then there's some bushes over here, kind of a trail coming in like this. And then also another part of the trail like this, which kind of winds up like that. <laughs> And then I don't want the tree to be in the center. So maybe I'll start the edge of the tree in the center. Something like this. And then there's some other trees on the side that are smaller. And this needs to come out further. Maybe I'll have like one tree in the foreground. And then another one that's smaller here. And the base of that can be like about there. And then there's a bush here too. I uh, know <laughs> that path is pretty sketchy. Uh, maybe like kind of, I'll have to work on that portion of it, but that's the basic idea. Here's the trail going off into the distance and then the tree right here. Those are the key components. Um, and so the next step will be to kind of block in this tree. I'll probably use my usual alizarin crimson mixture, uh, alizarin crimson and ultramarine, but I'll lean it towards blue. The trail almost looks pink, so that'll be fun to play with. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the tree, uh, start off with a, a like kind of a bluer mixture. All right, so I'm mostly using ultramarine, a touch of alizarin in here, and uh, thinning with liquin. Also adding a touch of odorless mineral spirits. And I want to keep this transparent. So there is the tree. It's definitely very transparent. I'm gonna to need to darken certain areas of that, but this is at least a good start to get the silhouette worked out. 
um, and now I'm just going to start blocking in some of the other colors. All right, I mixed up a variety of greens. This one has more blue and actually more red in it as well, and then just gradually gotten them lighter. I uh, used ultramarine for these blues, and then this one here I used uh, thalo blue. Okay, so this is the basic composition. Obviously the tree needs to be darker. Uh, so I want that to be darker, but I, I still want to maintain, maintain transparency. Um, but I do overall like the shapes, and I like the sort of irregular shapes of the path, or shape of the path here. So I think compositionally it's okay. Um, and I'm gonna try to keep this foreground really loose. So for this dark mixture, I'm using mostly ultramarine, a touch of alizarin crimson, and a touch of liquin, but no odorless mineral spirit. So I'm keeping it a little bit thicker. So as you can see here, it's darkening, but it's still keeping, um, you know, it's still transparent. All right, so I like the idea of using the transparent paint to indicate some of the branch direction. Okay, so I've mixed up another assortment of greens here. Keeping this mixture slightly thicker, um, I did put a little bit of liquid in it. I'm gonna experiment with the idea of placing simple short strokes over the transparent area. And I don't wanna totally eliminate the, um, the transparency but just having areas of horizontal and vertical strokes and mixing different colors into this uh, pile of paint here. Here I'm putting a little bit of yellow ochre. As I mentioned, I'd done this scene several times and was not happy with the results. Um, and I think it was because I did too close of a crop on the tree in the distance. I definitely like this composition better with the trail leading off to the tree. There are some adjustments that need to be made in the shadows on these bushes over to the right. Uh, but I do like how, you know, there's like a lot of loose transparent brushwork in the foreground. Um, and then soft edges along the trail that get a little bit tighter as it goes into the distance. I think this tree, I could probably, this side of the tree is a little bit too straight. That could be kind of messed up a little bit. I decided to run the tree right off the top um, just because it sort of looked awkward the way it was. This blue looked so radiant outdoors, but once I got it indoors, um, you know, I knew that once it was indoors, it wouldn't look as bright. And uh, 
So I think it's okay. All right, so here's a close up so you can see some of the areas of transparency and then the thick, shorter strokes. I uh, also did that in the sky as well. All right, as usual, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you'd like to see some extra videos and help support the channel, there's a Patreon link down below. Got a bunch of other videos on there. Last one was talking about opposites, like uh, how opposites can make your paintings better. So like I said, link down below, check it out. And other than that, stay creative, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.